So this is going to be another one of the movies, what's called the Camper and the Wood. And I am not going to be in 1961, Noir, from uh, producer Gene Corbin. And um, this movie is the last movie. Quentin Tarantino thought it had been lost.
and they can't bring their silver jewelry. <laughs> The pawn shop dude can take some of the campers over there. And he rips them off for like 30 bucks when it's worth like 100. Um, so the pawn shop dude ends up getting shot at and uh, he bothers. The, the blonde lady is like, um, is like the secretary they called it back then. They didn't use the term. Administrative assistant. He's secretary for this guy who appears to be an ordinary businessman, but he's really selling secrets to the Soviets uh, in New Mexico. So uh, she slowly discovers the truth. Uh, Cap Burglar wants to be a hero. He, um, gets into a gun duel with the Russian spies and I'm not going to spoil the ending but there's sort of like a, a love interest going on between the cat burglar and the victim, the, the blonde lady. Uh, that's a, that's a, a cliche that Hollywood used many, 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 many times. So, uh, uh, in that respect is not really original but uh, I like the ambiance. I like the music and uh, I like the directing so uh, and the low budget acting. Um, I, thought, I thought the blonde lady was quite good, very realistic. Uh, a lot of times when you have low budget actors, they, they portray the uh, dialogue much more real than say uh, something that's been rehearsed a hundred times. So, uh, so there's that, and uh, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I was surprised. It's a black and white feature, and uh, I love old movies from this time, especially noir. Uh, Samuel Fuller is probably the best director, but I don't know who the director of this one. This one is, but he's quite good also. So uh, that's my review. Later. See.